Don't let your thoughts run you. Be in charge of those thoughts. If your start, thoughts are starting to race, then you have to stop. <sighs> Take a breath. Start observing them, slow down, and watch those thoughts as they go by. And as they go by, once you see them and you're starting to be the observer now, if you see a thought you don't like, throw it away. Get rid of it. Say, wait a minute. Hey, what's that thought doing there? And you don't need to be there. That's not true. Remember, the mind is the devil's battleground. So if the devil is trying to attack you with some stupid thought or some lie, you can get rid of it. You can tell it. No, that's not the truth. Warren Wearsby once said, you know when you've allowed a lie into your mind when you start to worry. So then you can observe yourself. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What lie did I allow into my mind? Why am I worrying? Was it a lie that, hmm, ooh, I won't be able to pay the bills? God promised he would supply all our needs. We have an infinite source of, of life within us to answer every need. As long as there's life, there's hope. We can look to him for the answers. So, that's one worry we can let go of. That's a lie we don't need to believe. He also said, ask and it would be given. So if we're afraid to ask for help, maybe that's the problem. Why are we afraid to ask? We can ask ourselves that. Everybody who asks will receive. We, we have not because we ask not. So the next time you need help, ask. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. So anyway, ask and you shall receive. I am so happy that you came to be here today. And let's continue our conversation next week when we go over the next part, which is we're discovering the ingredients to more love in our life and better relationships. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Thank you.